What's up guys, this is Josh from Kiwi Crest Orchard and today I'm going to talk to you about making fruit leather which I love to do and is honestly the only way I use up all the fruit that I grow. Um, I've seen some videos on fruit leather on YouTube, people making it in their oven, people uh, cooking it first, I mean that, that's okay, you can do that, but I'm going to show you the tools I use to make uh, larger batches of fruit leather in a more time efficient manner. So I've personally turned thousands of pounds of fruit into fruit leather. I like to make them in strips about a little less than half a pound each and so the first thing I would rather recommend than a uh, I don't sell this stuff but so I'd recommend the Excalibur dehydrator with the nine trays I'm using the Teflon sheets that you can buy for it. You can also use silicone, but they are more expensive. And you can also get pre-cut parchment paper because underneath these, it's just a screen. Yeah, they're a little sticky because I don't, I'm not super big on cleaning after every time since these are just personal. I probably eat a pound of fruit every day um, via fruit leather. So I like the Excalibur Dehydrator 9 tray. I think I keep it on 135 to 140 degrees. And it takes about 10 hours to dehydrate the fruit. Might be worth it if you're going to be doing this to get a Vitamix. They have a nice high setting. You can blend the crap out of it. Also comes with the handy dandy plunger. Um, We'll get into fruit mixtures later, but basically you just blend it up, maybe add a little bit of sweetener if you prefer. Um, I also, so basically I'll blend up the fruit, I'll dump it in a bowl, dump because I'm going to do multiple blender fulls. I'm going to do about 10 pounds of fruit to fill up this dehydrator, blend, mix it in the bowl. I will take a one cup measuring cup, fill it up most of the way, take it over to my tray, dump it out. And then I will take this thin spatula, I'm not sure what this is called, spread it out like so. Now I'll just put it in the dehydrator. Now these are plexiglass uh, square rods that I've cut to the correct length. The purpose of these is to keep the strips of fruit separated and to hold down the Teflon sheet so it doesn't blow from the uh, fan and the dehydrator. So I'll just do three. Um, this might be a little tricky for you if you don't have the right saw to cut these. I used a band saw. Um, and if you do get fruit stuck to these, if you, you know, I'm, you're probably not gonna use these, but if you do use them, you can just soak them and the fruit will come right off. So the nice thing about doing it like this, you just peel them off and uh, you don't have to cut them. You can roll it in parchment paper. I used to fold them. Let me show you this. This I like just putting them in these snack bags. This is actually a batch of kiwi berry and cherry. So I grew the kiwi berries. Most there's probably like six pounds of kiwi berries in here and four pounds of cherry in this batch. And uh, let me take it out and show it to you. Hard to do one-handed. It's it's a nice moisture level, not too sticky. Fold and turn. So a little bit of sugar in here. Um, very good, very good. So that's basically it, Mia. Down. I'm trying to make a video here, Mia. Isn't she a cute little doodle, Bob? Golden doodle, great dog. So anyway, that's basically how you do it. Now, the moisture level of the fruit that you're using is important because you would want not to be too runny. Like if you did all pineapple or all watermelon, it might be too runny. If it's too thick, that's also not good. Like if you're doing all banana. So try to down me. Yeah. Again, this is not commercial fruit leather batch, so I'm not too worried about it. If you are doing it more commercial, um, 
Obviously wear mask and gloves when you ever you touch the fruit. Keep your everything clean and sanitized. Uh, some of the best, probably the easiest fruit to start on is mango. High sugar content. It just seems to be a really nice complexity. These days I grow, I had over a hundred pound kiwi harvest last year. So I'm going through my kiwi berries, uh, frozen kiwi berries. Uh, I'm doing a batch of strawberry and banana. Uh, that's going to be my next batch. Kiwi, strawberry, banana, a little bit of sugar. Um, blueberries work very well. You can even do like honeydew melon. Um, like I said, cherry. I basically do a lot of fruit, mixed berry, raspberry. I'm just going to take another bite. Um... Pear works really well. Peach works well. Now some of these fruits like peach, if you freeze them, you might want to drain off some of the liquid. It may be too thick. If it if they're it's too liquidy, like pure blueberry, sometimes it's gonna make a mess. So especially for you guys that grow fruit yourself, mm, I wouldn't recommend in the oven. It's gonna cost you more electricity. It's going to be a pain in the ass. I haven't got time to cook this stuff. So, that is showing you some of my fruit leather secrets. This channel, going forward in the future, will be more of the orchard. More of my fruit reviews. Uh, mulberry works really well. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And I'll be happy to answer you. Uh, you can really just get creative with it. It's whatever you like. Figuring out the right blends that work for you. So, anyway. Have a good one.